there's a couple of paths that resin has found over the years um, to uh, to work to achieve this. And one is native within ARCHICAD. Well, we're very familiar, uh, hopefully everybody listening today, with um, the Teamworks um, the Teamworks interface and the potential of Teamworks. So what happens then when you start to invite non-architects into your model? What happens when the structural engineer is live in your model? What happens when a mechanical engineer is live in your model and an electrical engineer and an interior designer? Well, it could be chaos or it could be absolute awesome. So, Every game has a set of rules. Playgrounds have rules. And, and this idea, homo ludens, man, the player, um, we have rules. And so resin architecture, we developed um, early on, we developed a, a set of rules as we invite you to our playground. Um, we review best practices for our workflow um, within the Teamworks environment. And we cover things such as um, simple send, receive, reserve, release all. And, you know, kind of the guidance that, hey, if you're going to step away from your desk to, uh, to take a phone call or to step into a quick conversation, make sure you do a send and receive. Um, Teamworks has come a long way over the past 20 20-ish years since I first used Teamworks. Um, and the data integrity is way better than it was uh, in, in the early 2000s. But still, things happen. And, and what happens when that five-minute phone call or that slight distraction that pulls you away from the desk ends up being an hour and somebody's reliant on that? So we talk about uh, about the, the communication process. We talk about joining and leaving pro, uh, projects and what is necessary there. We talk about attributes and we actually assign um, attribute um, sets. So for example, here in this document that I've pulled up, we're assigning a, a set of, of layers and, and a requirement that there be a prefix that represents um, that company. And, and um, if I remember, we'll, I'll show an example of that. Um, we assign pen sets that are dedicated um, so that no matter what uh, pen combination we use, um, we know that this set of pens is dedicated for structural and um, that, that we shouldn't ever be using this. And then we have sets for mechanical, electrical, plumbing, um, and, and then other specialty sets. We talk about, um, we talk about layer combinations and how, uh, for example, a prefix that, um, that identifies those layers and then is also descriptive to what that is, um, what is contained on that layer. Very consistent with, with what we uh, all do most likely with the architectural systems. And then we talk about graphic overrides and model view options and, and the project map. I mean, this is, this is all stuff that as ARCHICAD users, we, uh, we recognize. And then we ask for those team members uh, in our consultant office who are going to uh, be involved in the project that they have reviewed this and we ask for their approval so that, um, so that we know that they're accepting the playground rules. I, that's very important. We don't want to bully on the playground. So once we know who, uh, who is coming to our playground, we go into the, the, um, the BIM cloud manager and we make sure that we have the appropriate roles. Now, by default, there are a number of roles here, but Let's say that this is the first time you have a, a structural engineer in your model. You may not want to grant them complete access. You might start with a viewer role, a structural viewer even, um, that has, a, a, you, can, you can go in and you can customize roles depending what the needs are. And so we do that. We create custom roles depending on the team members and their experience. And then we get people onboarded into the Teamworks project. Um, then 
there's a little bit of management for the BIM manager in your office or just general housekeeping. It's not extensive that is needed, but what we do is we go in um, occasionally and we check to make sure that, for example, that the uh, layers are within the, the layer combinations and the other attributes are within the series of numbers that we've assigned. And um, in versions 26 and 27, um, there's all kinds of improved and, and new ways to do attribute management. The projects I'm showing you today are all happen to be in ARCHICAD 25, and it's not because we're working in only in ARCHICAD 25. That was actually just interesting to see that, that these projects that span uh, the last seven years, um, at some point all came into ARCHICAD uh, 25. And, and so that's kind of where we're started. We've started, and then um, you know the management with uh, within the Teamworks dialog, and how you know we have the communications here, and we can see who's online, and and uh, the send and receive, and we go through all of that. <laughs>